What's going on everybody? This your boy Isaiah coming to you from Buckles Locker. Subscribe, like, comment, share all my videos. Make sure you hit the notification button on this channel to notify you on all new videos that's posted on this channel. And folks, uh, these this video is going to be in pertaining to a, uh, a series of videos I'll be making for uh, uh, each position on the Bucks team as far as the depth chart. Um, and I'll be making more videos as we move forward as mm -hmm. the days go by. Um, so the first, uh, position that I want to talk about, uh, for the Tampa Bay Bucks is the quarterback position and our depth, uh, and going into this season. Um, and as we all know, Jameis Winston is a starter, um, following, um, him behind him is, uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick, a journeyman that's been in the league for over 10 years in a uh, multiple different teams that he's played for most recently, the, uh, the Jets, I believe. Um, he's played for the Texans, you know, he's played for a lot of teams. Uh, old Wiley veteran. Uh, the quarterback number three is, uh, Ryan Griffin. Uh, we stole him from the New Orleans Saints, I mean, Aints. Uh, he's from Tulane, um, a decent quarterback. Haven't seen too much of him on the field. And we also, uh, uh, took, uh, took on a undrafted free agent, uh, Sefu Lufu from Colorado. Uh, young kid. You know, I watched a couple of games in the, in the Pac-12 of him, so he's pretty decent. But we'll see how he works out in, um, in training camp. But I'm going to start out with Jameis Winston real quick. I'm going to give a little overall summary. Jameis is entering his third year uh, in the league, and most quarterbacks drafted in the first round usually make the, they jump in the third year. It's called the third-year leap. Um, numbers show it. A lot of quarterbacks make that big jump. And uh, what James got to do going into this season is cut back on turnovers. Uh, it's all about decision making. Uh, his decision making will determine if this team be a ten and six, eleven and five, twelve and four, or a six and ten, seven and nine, eight and eight type team. And James, once James cut cut back on on the interceptions and the bad decision making, we can win uh, ten to twelve games a season for the next ten years, easy. Um, and, and Jameis is, is a very durable quarterback. And the best best thing you could do when you're playing football at that position is availability. And we've seen a lot of quarterbacks are pretty good, but they're just not available, right? So, you know, Jameis is a sneaky athletic type quarterback. You know, he's kind of goofy in his athleticism. Uh, he has a strong arm. He's very durable. Um, you know, he, he has some great pocket presence, you know. And I was looking up some numbers of, uh, on Jameis Winston and he is outside the pocket since 2015. He's number one in QBR, number two in touchdowns, and number five in uh, yards per attempt at 7.9. And he has 18 touchdowns outside the pocket. So teams think that he can't throw the ball outside the pocket. They got another thing coming. Jameis is a beast outside the pocket. You know, so I'm looking forward to Jameis moving forward and um, in this season and as this team progress. Um, just, he just got to make sure he stays focused and has a good camp which I think he will because he has uh, uh, determination and a lot of heart. Ryan Fitzpatrick, he's our backup. Uh, we already know what we're getting out of him. If, you, if those of you have never seen him play, just go back and watch some of his highlights. He's had a lot of a lot of lows and, some, and a little bit of highs. He's a veteran quarterback. He's not going to give us a lot. So if Jameis Winston was to get hurt, Ryan Fitzpatrick will step in. He has some starter. He has started. He has, excuse me, he has started experience in the league so he can – um, provide a good quality backup, and that's what he is at this stage of his career. And but, you know, James, like I said, James Winston is a very durable quarterback, and availability is the best thing you can have on the team as a starting quarterback, as an elite quarterback that James Winston is projecting to be. Uh, Ryan, the battle is going to be between Ryan Griffin and Sifu Lufu. Um, and let's be honest, folks. Sefu Lufu don't have a chance to beat Ryan Griffin. That's if Dirk Cutter keeps three quarterbacks this, this offseason, uh, going into the season. But we'll see. But those two should have a good battle in camp, and we'll see who uh, come, becomes uh, victorious in that third quarterback battle. That's if Dirk Cutter decides, like I said, to keep three quarterbacks. But overall, our quarterback position is, is it's fairly good. I mean, I like it, um, being that James is the bona fide starter, the bona fide franchise quarterback on the team. So... Uh, we'll see how this this quarterback uh, progression goes throughout cr training camp. So you know, yo, you guys, give me your thoughts about our quarterback uh, depth uh, and what you think about our quarterback position moving forward for this season. Um, this your boy Isaiah coming to you from Buckles Locker. 
I just wanted to drop a little video about our team. I'll be making more videos like this. And y'all just stand by. More videos will come. Fire those cannons. Siege the day. I'm out.